stories, you know, stories. Uh, oh, yeah, somebody says, I remember the bill was 140. Yeah, yeah, Lebza. Let me pin your comment. <laughs> yeah, Lebza says uh, he remembers the bill was about 140. Yeah, somewhere there. You know, for the A45 one, when I was fixing the the gearbox and then after after that I, I, i've sold it because that guy at the garage says said that once it starts having problems like this they're not going to stop remember i've been through i've been through that road before with other cars and all that you know once it starts having problems like this they're not gonna stop anytime soon so i sold it now when i when i sold it uh, people started fairly they started you know and i'm just sitting there and i'm like if only these people knew what i'm going through financially to maintain these cars if only they knew what i'm going through financially maintaining these cars they wouldn't be saying what they were saying that what they're saying and then i used to ask myself why do people hate me so much you know because i mean like i'm living my life and i don't think kishupamoto per se i don't think kishupamoto per se because everything that i do revolves around me now why do people hate me so much why do they say these things about me and they don't know what i'm going through behind closed doors you know and it clocked in my head that no man there is no person who has an a45 that can talk bad about a person who has sold an a45 there is no person there's no a person who has a c63 that can talk bad about another person who has an a45 or a c63 and the story made sense slowly and i was like oh so now if there is no person who has an a45 that can talk bad about me then who are these people who are talking bad about me and then i do i did my research and i found out that 99 percent of the people who are saying these things about me are pedestrians right and it made sense i'm like oh pedestrians everything you say about your car it's a lie what you spend about the car it's a lie well how much you bought the car for it's a lie they always have something to say about your life but when you investigate okay what do these guys have you find out that now nah, these guys are pedestrians right and i was like okay sharp so these guys are pedestrians they don't have cars then why do they say i'm lying about my cars because i did spend that money fixing the car and there's nothing wrong with not seeing a value in a car anymore deciding to sell to sell it and it made sense that oh it's witches now we move on <laughs> now coming to, to 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 houses right there were so many stories i think it was early 2020 yeah early 2020 stories about me ah he's broke ah he's broke uh, uh, he's staying in an apartment he's what 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 Hey, what, 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 what? And I used to get bothered. That, why do these people, why are they always on my business? I mean, how many people on social media who post stuff and people don't care about them? So many. So I'm coming as that person that I post my stuff, motivating, doing what I do, and I move on. But it seems like, many people don't move on from my stuff you know and that's why i'm i'm I, I i may look like i'm harsh i may look like i'm harsh and i'm not harsh i'm just defending my territory <laughs> now there were stories and then i sat down with my manager and i was like boy why are these people like this why are they why are they like this why don't why why mar 
Do they know what we go through behind closed doors, working hard for these things? And then I did my research again. I did my research again. I, I, I investigated. Who are these people who are saying these things about me? I did my first research. And then I met a guy who stays in the estate, same estate as me. And then he said, yeah, man, I, 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 I'm following you on social media. And then he said to me, and he's like, don't, don't worry about these people, man. Um, you see, I, I see you're here. Don't worry about these people. Let them talk. Keep on pushing. Even though I'm older than you, I'm inspired. I don't know his, I didn't know his name by then. And I was like, okay, this, these words are, 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 they are very positive. They are, they're building. So this guy is able to see everything that people, these people say, and he's able to see me in real life. There's a difference. <laughs> and then I moved on with life. A couple of people saw me. They told me the same thing. Now, when I investigated about this type of people who are telling me the same thing, I found out that all of them are businessmen. Like they are into tenders. They own a couple of companies and, and, and all that. And they stay in nice houses. And then I asked myself, I asked myself, who are these people who are saying this stuff about me? Who are they? Eh, I was shocked. <laughs> now, it turns out that 99% of the people who are saying these things about me, they are in Mami Lodi, they are in Mawopani, they are in Rangua, they are in Soshankuve, they are in Atrechville, they are staying in uh, Rotten Flats in Sunnyside, they are in villages back in Limpopo, my hometown, they are back in KZN villages. They are poor colored in Cape Town, poor colored in Northern Cape. There was one thing in common about all these people. There was poverty written all over them. And I investigated further. Since now I know these guys who said positive words towards me, I know they're into business, they're working, right? Then who the fuck are these ones? What do they do for a living? I found out that they're working at ShopRite, uh, as Till What What. Others are security guards. Others are driving the, the, the Avanza. Others are selling the cool time at the robots. Others are not even employed at all. And I was like, I was so confused. I'm like, why are these people like this? So now, you are in Adrejville. You are in Rangua. You are in Mawopani at an RDP house. You have the nerve to go on social media and discuss me as if you know me. And I was like, I don't know how God operates. But this is probably one of the main reasons why these people are poor. There is, I've, that's why I've realized that there is no person who has money and too focused on other people's businesses. And now after that, it made sense. It made sense. After that, it made sense. 100%. It made sense. And I was like, oh, okay. So now... There is no person who's at your level or doing better than you who can discuss you. It's only these ones below you who are going to discuss you. And I was like, oh, okay, so that's how it works. So now, success, it's a battle. When you're successful, you're battling. This is how it is. It's like a pyramid, right? You're on top. You're on top. And there are people below you. Their job is to drag you down so that you can be on their level. Because if you're on top, then you're better than them. So I was like, okay, so this is how it works. So I wish somebody has warned me about this. This type of people. I wish somebody had warned me that, look, son, if you're doing better in life, there are going to be people who's, whom they, they just, their job is just to bring you back to their level. And it all made sense that, oh, that's why these people are like this. I used to ask myself, and the sad part about it 
is they think they're smart. They, they, if you see them discussing, you will, they, they think, they tell themselves that they're smart. And now, I don't blame them anymore because now I've, I've, uh, I've put myself in a position which they are in at the moment. And I realized something. I realized that actually I was one of them. You know, I was one of these people. I used to do these things, same things, you know, same things. So this thing, this poverty thing, it's a disease. It's a disease which is against any success. Like it's a disease. So these people, you can blame them, yes, but it's not their fault. Honestly, it's not their fault. You can blame them as much as you want, but you, it's not their fault. It's a disease. It's like, it's like, I don't know how to put this. It's like, it's a disease which they cannot control. And it's a disease that they, which they are not even aware that they have this disease, you know? So I want us to pray for them. I want us to pray for this kind of people. But, but, but at the same time, you can't really blame them because, I mean, like, we are all born, right? Born. Uh, yo, my phone is battery low. Shit. Um, my phone is battery low. Vincent, I know you are watching this live. Uh, can you please bring the adapter or twin plug to my room? Vincent, I know you're watching this live. Please bring the adapter. My phone is better. Thank you. I know you're watching. So, yeah, I'm, as I was saying, we need to pray for these people because they don't know what they're doing, honestly. They don't know what they're doing. We need to pray for them because uh, this is a serious disease. And what it does to people like me on top is that it causes depression if you are unable to express or defend yourself. It causes depression. And it made sense as to why so many celebrities are depressed. Well-known people are depressed. They're depressed. They're going through a lot. They, they can't express themselves because everything that they say, these people always attack them, always attack them, like all the time. So I've decided that I'm not going to be a victim in all of that nonsense. Now I speak for myself. I defend myself all the time. Rather you say I'm rude. Rather you say that I'm rude than to listen to you destroy everything that I've worked hard for. That time you don't even know who I am. You don't even know half of my story. You don't even know where I come from. You know, it's, 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 it's a problem, this thing. It's a problem in life. So anyways, now as I've explained the, the kind of expenses that I went through with this cars, I hope now you per pedestrians, because that's how you want to be addressed. Because if a person addresses you guys with respect and humanity, you, you end up getting inside their pants. So you pedestrians, I hope you understand that having a car is not up in place. And you can't compare having a car with having a sort of whatever you are having at the moment. When I'm talking about a car, I'm talking about an, an expensive car. Yeah, bring it. It's maintaining it. And then the charger. Next to the TV. The S20, the other phone. Yeah, so when a person addresses you in a human friendly manner, uh, I just heard the last part. Hey, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. i Anger management or anger issues? Anger issues. Yeah, I have anger issues. <laughs> so, yeah. So, 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 Laban. So, I hope now you are able to understand that, hey, from today, if I'm a pedestrian, 
I will never understand what people who own cars go through. That's what I'm trying to teach you. If you are a pedestrian, you will never understand. When Spanibani buys a car, when Spanibani buys a car, then next week the car is no longer there. Don't, 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 don't say the nonsense that you're saying. Don't, don't do that. You don't know what Spanibani went through having to maintain that car. Do you guys understand? You, you, you don't do that. Because when Spanibani comes back and calls you a pedestrian, now it's like Spanibani is rude. Whenever we defend ourselves from these abusers, from these cyber abusers, it's like now we are rude. I don't know how to say it. I do Pass. Straight. So now, in life, there are levels. There are levels. If you don't have a car, I, I should never, ever, ever find you talking nonsense about a person who has a car. Because you don't know what these people are going through. Since they can't speak for themselves, now I'm going to speak on everyone's behalf because I'm not scared of you. If I find you talking nonsense about a hustler who has managed to get themselves a car and you're a pedestrian, Utlonyela, Papao, Kerbucha, Kerugre Utlonyela, because we go through a lot having to get these things. We go through a lot having to maintain these things. Petrol is dura. Petrol is expensive, people. Petrol is expensive. Now, you pedestrian. Now, you are saying that, um, Fanaka, uh, let's go to Banbani and check out Banbani. And I tell you that I don't have petrol. And then you, when you leave, you start talking nonsense about me. Yeah, no. Spanbani uh, thinks he's better when he's supposed to take me to Skyka. He says he doesn't have petrol. Hebatu. Batu. Let's 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 work hard for our things. Rtroe lengi lo tabatu. Rtroe lengi lo tabatu. Rtroe lengi lo tabatu. Rtroe lengi lo tabatu. Rtroe lengi tana tana tabatu. Because if 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 most people would focus on 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 their stuff, on their personal business, the world would be a place. And now we are tired of having people uh, having to discuss and conclude the local life arena. Now you can you can't find me having to discuss how poor you are. Hell no. You, 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 you can't find me taking time discussing how poor you are. No, I'm not there. I'm focused on my business. Instead, I talk about me, where I come from, where I am now. Maralena, you, 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 you. Hey, la depressa, man. Hey, la depressa. Anyways, I hope even if tomorrow you don't see me not having a G63. I hope I will not find you saying nonsense about me. Go cry out, Ronyel. Go, go, water. Go cry out, Ronyel. And I'm not a violent person. Mara, go cry out, Ronyel. Ronyel, because now I have an invoice of 400,000 that I need to settle. And when you are not there, you are not even taking out one rent. I work hard for this money. I won't tell a cent, not even one cent, helping me. <laughs> and when the car is not there, told, yeah, we knew it. We knew it. You knew Mao. Eh? You knew Mao now. Look, 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 now it doesn't work on me. My superpower is very good. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the The only difference is the words which come out of my mouth are going to hurt you forever. That's the only difference. That is the only difference. Trust me, you don't want to take me on. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to and now it's going to be more like, ah, this guy is a rude. <laughs> I'm tired. I just want to enjoy my life in peace. Enjoy what I worked hard for in peace.
Is that too much to ask for? Yeah? Is that too much to ask for? I'm telling you, if you see the bill tomorrow, watch what comes out of your mouth. Because when I na na I I'm not I'm not going to to address you on social media. Uh-uh. go RDP. I'm gonna come to that RDP of yours. Kito address kito fix a papa. Kito papa kito fix. Kito lata go RDP. You an RDP with a million goyona. Kito lata go on. Akjima say panda. Hey. What's up, man? We work hard for our things. Hey, hey, hey. We work hard for our things. We got through a lot. And but we no tlanje on social media. Hey, it's man, man, hey, but what, 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 ah. And I, now I thank God there was never anybody in my life who has ever said anything to me physically. And now I would have been in jail. I'm telling you, I have anger issues. I would have been in jail. And now I would have been in jail. Right now, I'm telling you, I, Obana, when it comes to my things, what I've worked hard for, what I've been through, be very sensitive about what you say. Be very, very sensitive. I don't mind going to jail. I don't mind. Trust me. I don't mind. You can swear at me. What Mara, respect my hustle, chief. Hey, chief, it's not easy, chief, making money. <laughs> chief, it's not easy making money from nothing. It's not easy. Making money from nothing, it's not easy, chief. Growing up in a shack, it's not easy, chief. <laughs> hey, Evan, these people have no idea. You can't just follow me or start trading or do music and make it just like that. This journey takes a lot of time, a lot of sacrifices, lot of pain la 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 ngushi shamar so 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 you 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 must watch what you say about my hustle because akito tlapa akito akito hor kampam akito hor go botsa net o tswa o le mushwari you will wake up in the mushwari and on another joke you think it's comedy <laughs> but yeah otherwise and like when I Vincent, the, when I when I'm done with this life, Vincent, I will I will set an example with you. When I'm done with this life, I will I will come downstairs. I will I will deal with you, my boy. Uh, because we know now, now when I'm on the live, they are coming. I can fetch them all. Get You must post and tell them what I've done to you, Vincent. Get out of my way, Papa. I can fetch them all. If you know what's good for you, start one of the cars and run. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I'm coming. So, anyways, I hope you'll be able get it. So, my phone is better low. Oh my god. This one here. Ah. This phone is about to turn off now. Okay. I think it's charging now. No, it's not charging. What the fuck? Uh. Yeah, it's charging now. Yeah, my phone is charging now. Yeah, so yeah, so la 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 So I'm gonna take in a request uh, at the moment, Laravan. Yeah, it's still loading. It's still loading. It's still loading. Hola. 
Halo. Halo. Nah, this guy doesn't have a network or what's going on. Nah, this guy doesn't have a network. Uh, let me look for another one. This one is in the house. I will deal with him physically. Hola. Hello. Hello. How's it? How are you, PK? I get sharp, Where? Where? Where are you from? Namibia. Oh, you are in Namibia. Yes. Oh, all right. That's nice. Have you been to South Africa before? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> but I, I no. have a brother who, who goes to school there. Oh, your brother is studying in South Africa. Yeah. Oh, which which university? I, don't you know which university he's studying at? Uh, he's studying at uh, uh, mm -hmm. University of Nelson Mandela. Oh, the one in Port Elizabeth, somewhere around Eastern Cape. Oh, okay. All right. That's nice. No, man, you must come to South Africa someday. Yeah. I don't really have the money to, but as a fan, I'm got trying. Okay. Okay. So you want me to come to, Nabi to Namibia? Eh? You want me to come that side? Yeah, you should come here, man, and teachers should have don't, a don't, here in Namibia. Don't you have a lockdown that side? Because in South Africa now, we have a lockdown. Ah, uh, in Namibia, there's only a, a curfew. We only have curfew. We don't have lockdown here. What time is your curfew? Nine o'clock. P.M.? Ah. Uh, in the morning? Nine, nine, 9 p.m., 9 p.m. Oh, 9 p.m., all right. Things I'm talking to. Oh, I know, relax, my king. Uh, one thing I know for sure is that people yeah. who are not from, I'm saying one thing I know for sure, people who are not from South Africa appreciate me more than these bastards who are in South Africa. So that's why I love internationals a lot. Uh, you know, South, South Africans are. You know, these people in South Africa are so ungrateful. You, uh, you, you see me as an inspiration, and they see me as a scammer. Same character. You see me as an inspiration, they see me as a scammer. What kind of people are that? See you as a scammer. Yeah, they, they, they see that. Actually. Uh, yeah, you, uh, you see, it's bad in South Africa, you see. Yes, sir. Yeah, so I'm I'm working on getting my passport. As soon as I get my passport, I will move to Namibia full time. <laughs> oh, you should come, Emma. Yeah, do, do you have beautiful women that side? Yeah, there are beautiful women in Namibia. Uh, my king. I'm going to ask you again. Eh? Do you have beautiful women that side? Mm. I'm talking about beautiful women. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Are you sure? Uh. Okay, no, I, I trust you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come that side. I will even get married as soon as I get there. Oh. Uh. Yeah, and you will be uh, my uncle that side, ne? since I don't know anybody. 
Okay, just DM me if you do come for it. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Uh, keep on pushing, my brother. Ne? Keep on pushing. Okay. All right, sharp, sharp. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's my brother from Namibia. So uh, I'll be going to Namibia very, very soon. Internationals, international people, one thing I know for sure is that they look up to me and they appreciate me more than South Africans. I don't know why is that, but it is like that, hey? And I've seen it with my hometown. People from my hometown, they don't like me. They want me dead, like, all the time. They want they want me dead. If they can hear that I, I, I am dead, people from my hometown will be the first to celebrate, you know? And that makes sense. And that, that's why, in most cases, I always make sure I stay away from family, you know, because people who are closer to you, at some point in life, those ones are your greatest enemies, like greatest, greatest. Strangers don't really have much against you, honestly. Strangers don't really have much against you. Um, they have no reason to destroy you. But somebody who has seen you suffer before, Trust me, they have every motive to come after you. So you should watch out your surrounding, you know. People like Ru Vincent, you should watch out who you have on your circle. Because not everybody who is closer to you wants, wants to see you do good. You know, just, just be careful, man. Just be careful. Let's see another request. <laughs> Vegas Ford, my hometown. Hey, no, I, I hear you when you say family is everything. <laughs> and hello, you are washing dishes. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> hello. How are you? How are you? Ah, uh, this person. This person is not serious. Oh, let's see. You okay, can let me add this one. It's still loading. Hello. Exe. Hey, coach. Hola. Inside, yeah? Ah, great. Where da? Where, where, where? Ah, monad. Mm. The blommers of Shamar and Moody might fold. Oh, Sosha, so Sosha so Gilda will gossip and carry in, Nanny. Eh? Ah, uh, next reads. Nagnova, nothing much. Okay, what you know, my head felt. Ma. Ah, my head felt. Where the last go? Oh, wait, I'm wait, I want to know the last gila. Grade 11, second place. Grade 11, all right. So, yeah. yeah. Do you still want to go to varsity? I don't. Eh? Over to university? I don't know how to Nah, why, why not university? Why not university? Nah, like. Yeah, like sponsor of Rega Kamatsu, Salavon, Mechanical Engineering, Salavon. Oh, when are you prefer working with your hands? All right, I know. Thank you. And you still have a lot ahead of you. 
life in Fanaga is not going to be easy on you, but in Fana, never ne- forget that dream of working with hands. Yeah, never forget it, Mfana. No matter what, just keep on pushing. One day, Hotel Vereke Hampinjak. Anger. Ongutra. Eshwa break. Ago Tripila. Osho Gauka. Eshwa break and pinch. Yeah, the, the network was bad, but yeah, he says he wants to be a, a mechanical engineer. He wants to be a mechanical engineer. Uh, King, yeah, mechanical. Yeah, working with hands and all that. So, also give up on Benjaga. Uh, this life thing is not easy on anybody, you know. Uh, success doesn't come easy on anyone, actually. It's difficult on, 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 on each and every person, you know. So who are you, my man? Who are you? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I've requested for another one. Hey guys, happy January. Hey, shots, what January? Hey, January, what are you, man? Hey, January, what are you, man? This is, uh, it's loading. <sighs> this was, so this one is not uh, saying anything. This one is not saying anything. <laughs> like I added the greatest enemy. Hey, bro. Yo, motherfucker. Motherfucker, come on, shot. Come on, stay, Kurama. Blair, did you want to blair? Hey, what's the woman? Emily. 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 What's the woman? The go with him, shot. Eh, before it, before it. Hello, very English. Because I have international so here. Uh, what must I eat before I beat you up? Yeah. <laughs> you, these things, you know, like, like, these are my wow, things. What are you saying? I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> guys, uh, let me tell you guys uh, something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, let me uh, tell you something. I want, I want to tell you something, guys. Careful, Tara. Yeah, my boy. Careful, Tara. Okay. Okay. It's time now, ne? Time now, ne? Time because now, no matter how strong you are or no matter how people respect you, family is the only thing that can destroy you anytime. True, true. Now, not the, sad part, the sad part about it, the sad part yeah. about it, or family are True, you, you can't know? choose family. I'll translate. You can't choose family. This boy, yeah, I've this taught boy. him each and everything. Each and yeah. everything. Whatever you dream of, I've taught yeah. this boy. Everything. I've this boy. Yes, true. Even for kids. And kids. 
Tell them, tell them, tell them I told you. I told you, tell them. I I I, I took this boy. I took you. You only had one girlfriend when I took you. Uh, let's carry on. <laughs> let's carry on. <laughs> this boy was doing uh what happened to the black boy? Come on. Fine. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Yes. Kari, I, I, I took you Mfana. I took you when you only had one girlfriend, yes. Let's carry on. Let's go. I know I'm not talking about girlfriends. I'm also not talking about girlfriends. So why are you talking about girlfriend? I'm not talking about girlfriends. I'm just supporting your statement. Okay, anyways, yeah. So yes. English, 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 English. Oh. So everyone can while he was he was studying makeup course somewhere in Mainly. <laughs> he was Amen. doing cosmetics and everything. Oh. Uh, oh. You know. He was practically he didn't even have fo focus in life. And then ah, I took him in as my own son. Yes. You know? I yes. taught him everything. Everything. Yes. After he made his first hundred thousand. Mm. After he made his first hundred thousand, Nale and now we are the same. And now the sad part about it is that I can't do anything about it. Reason being Corey. What did you want to do? No family. Yeah, I'm, uh, that's what I'm saying. Really, because uh, this past uh, December, I was at home uh, visiting my grandmother, and then she was shouting at me that uh, I should take care of that. That one is dying. That one. Okay, I'll carry on. <laughs> she was shouting at me, telling me that I should take care of the boy, no matter Which what. Boy? And eh. Yeah? Which boy? You. I'm a boy, me. I'm mean, what are you? I'm sure. Okay. Carry on. I'm going to tell you after this. Okay. It's your chance. Tell, now. You are tell me now. Tell me now. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who are you? I'm not a boy. <laughs> Wing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, guys. Uh, family, ne? No, finish your store. Finish your store. Finish your store. Um, fatal math. How will I finish? Okay, I'm quiet. Okay, Gulala Louis. Curry, a Gulala Louis. One this time, Pagula Gurman. Okay, finish. Finish what? Okay. Okay.